I just love a walk-off win, don't you? Let's talk about it. and welcome back into the Birdland Network where we talk all things Orioles and Major League Baseball. And we're back with game four of the season for the Orioles in the 2024 season with our recap and thoughts of the game. Um, first and foremost, great game for the Orioles. Um, they go out there against Kansas City, first game of the regular season. They're actually going to get done with Kansas City in April. They have three games against them here in Baltimore. And then they're going to go later in April to Kansas City. And then that's it. They're going to be done with them for the year already. They go out there today. Uh, it's Dean Kramer pitching for the Orioles. Michael Waka is pitching for Kansas City. And both guys pitched eh, about this, almost the exact same numbers. Waka had five innings pitched, three hits, three runs, one walk, five Ks. Dean Kramer, five and a third innings, three hits, three runs, one walk, five Ks. They both gave up a home run. Dean Kramer gave up two home runs. Um, so the Orioles' streak of quality starts stops with Kramer. He misses it by two-thirds of an inning. He goes five and a third. If he had gone six, he would have had six with three runs scored. That would have been considered a quality start. But he didn't pitch terrible. Got behind in the count a few, a few times. Left the ball up a couple times. And he really paid for it and given up the two home runs. Um, Bobby Witt hit one. Salvador Perez hit one. So it is what it is, but he settled down. After he gave up the three runs in the second inning, he didn't give up another run. And he pitched really, really well. For the most part, he did. He kept the Orioles in the game. Even though he gave up the three runs in the third inning, he didn't let the game get out of hand, which was the most important thing for Dean Kramer. As for the Orioles on the defensive side of things, it was kind of a tale of two halves for the Orioles of this game. The first inning, they had two errors in the first innings. Ramon Urias had an error. Gunnar Henderson had an error in the first inning. Luckily for the Orioles, it didn't hurt them because uh, Kansas City didn't score. But then they had some great defense from Anthony Santander in right field. He had a really good day. Had two really nice catches. I'll show you one of them right here. And uh, defensively, other than that, they just played really, really well. Some nice plays. Brian Mountcastle late in the game makes a game-saving dive of a play and then runs to the bag and, and, and tags the guy, uh, tags the base for the out. That was a huge play, probably the play of the game, to be honest with you, other than the major play, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But overall, really good defensively for the Orioles. Even though they struggled early, they got it together and made some really outstanding defensive plays tonight. Also, too, when it comes to the hitting, Gunnar Anderson, one for four with a run scored. Rutschman, two for three with a run scored and a walk. Anthony Santander. One for four. Ryan Mountcastle, big day. Two for four, three RBIs. He had a home run. Um, we also had, I think that was really it. Cedric Mullins had a hit. But the big hit, of course, came from Jordan Westberg. Uh, first off, top of the ninth inning, Craig Kimball comes into the game for his first attempt at a save for the Orioles. He blows the save. I don't really know that I'm going to put it on him. He gave up a bloop single that probably should have been caught. Hayes and Gunnar Henderson didn't look like either one of them were really talking. Or communicating and it fell between them and then the one thing Kansas City can do is that they can run and they got a pinch runner in the game guy stole second then he went to third and then on a fly ball to right field he scores tie game and then in the bottom of the ninth inning Jordan Westberg comes up after Cedric Mullins gets a hit and he takes an 0-2 pitch and drives it over the right field wall for a walk-off win it was awesome. I'm really happy for Westberg. It was a guy that spent a ton of time in the minor, minor leagues and really deserves a shot at playing every day for the Orioles. And right now he is, a, and he's producing. Got to give him credit. Um, at least, to, at least today he did. And that's a great way to get the win with a walk-off win against the Kansas City Royals. So the Orioles improved to three and one. They are at it again tomorrow against Kansas City. And uh, great win. Loved it. Kind of around the board. Pitching was pretty good for the most part. Hitting was pretty good for the most part. And they got the win, and that's what matters most. I'm um, really hoping to see Colton Cowser in the lineup soon. He hasn't played at all other than a couple pinch hit duties. But I think he needs some regular at-bats. Uh, last thing I will say, too, is I'm a little worried about Austin Hayes. 
Last season, at the end of the season, he didn't hit very well. And every time I see him come up to the bat this year so far, everything is a weak ground ball. He's not driving the ball at all. I'm worried. I'm starting to worry about him. Defensively, he's awesome. But I'm worried about his offense. So we'll see what happens there. But there you go, folks. Another game. Game number four in the books. We'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. And keep rooting for those O's. Bye now.